the Doll Circle and today I'm so excited, as I always am, because I know I always say I'm excited. Every time I watch back a video I'm like, I say that a lot. Well I'm really excited all the time, because I get so many awesome dolls. And this one I got from Amazon, so I didn't find it in a toy hunt, but when we saw it on Amazon I just had to get it, because I was like, I don't know if I can find her, which we haven't. Well, the, so, way, the luck we had with Duchess, I mean I don't see why. Yeah, like it took forever to finally find Duchess. But this is Darling Charming, and she is the daughter of King Charming, and she's a newer character, so she's only been released recently in a lot of the new episodes, and she's beautiful. Like, honestly, when I first saw her, I kind of thought Cinderella looking, because she had, like, the very fair skin, the light hair, the, like, ice blue outfit, so I was like, I know that obviously we have Ashlyn for Cinderella, but... She kind of looks like Cinderella. I don't know. They just got this vibe. But I love her though, regardless. Like, she's super beautiful. I love her face mold. So, here, yeah, I'll just show you guys the packaging really quick because I know what we want to do. See her out of the box. And this color scheme of this obviously is going to match her dress, which is a paler blue color. Uh, newer style box, of course, because it is the newer style dolls. And, oh, and she's a rebel, by the way, too, which I thought was interesting. For some reason, I don't know why I thought. She wouldn't be? I don't know. I just had a feeling that maybe she would be a royal. So I was kind of not sure about that. And here's the back. And if you guys want to pause that and read that later, I'll let you guys do that. Obviously, I don't want to bore you by reading the whole back of the box right now. And I will read it here really quick uh, to myself as I'm opening the box so I can be further educated on it. I am really excited about the other new characters, which is obviously Bunny, and which, you know, is going to be like, you know, the bunny from Alice in Wonderland. Uh, we're gonna have, you know, Rose Bella here because Rose Bella is gonna be obviously Beauty and the Beast, which I'm so excited about because I love dolls with glasses. I think that's awesome. And then obviously uh, Fable Thorn, which stay tuned this week. Someone might be reviewing it. So let's take her out of the box because I'm really, really excited and she's super pretty. So yeah. <laughs> So we got her out of the package, and she's absolutely stunning. Like, I don't know if they completely made a whole new face mold for her, which I'm thinking they did, because she doesn't really look like any of the other girls, like, at all. And her makeup is just so beautiful. Like, the pink goes well with the outfit, the eyeshadow color goes great with the outfit, and I love how she has this little headband here that has this little feather sticking up. So it's kind of almost like similar to the one that Duchess has, but a little smaller, I guess. Um, but still, again, the colors go with the outfit very well. Her hair is this really beautiful, like, yellowish blonde color that has tons of blue streaks going through it and her hair is so pretty like really really pretty like I absolutely love it like it's a little messy I've messed it up a little bit but I love the crazy bouncy curls like she looks so great I mean like really really beautiful and I love the beauty mark underneath her right eye which is awesome now going to her outfit it looks a little bit and I like I mean again I hope all of you have seen spring unsprung and if you haven't go to Netflix and watch it right now because it's absolutely amazing all I have to say. Now, with that, it is a spoiler alert if you guys haven't seen this or read the back of her box. Now, as you can see with her outfit, it has kind of like an armor look to it, kind of like as if she was a knight. Well, if you guys, like I said, haven't seen Spring Unsprung or read the back of the box, you do realize that she actually dresses up like a knight in uh, Spring Unsprung and, like I said, in the back of her story because she wants to be a hero. But, unfortunately, when you have brothers like Dexter and obviously like Daring, like, Come on, they're like the main ones of the family. So everyone thinks that she's just pretty. Well, guess what? She's pretty damsel and she wants to be a hero. Damsel in distress. Yeah, like actually I was reading her box and that's her least favorite class is damsel in distress because she isn't. She wants to be a hero and wants to stand out and wants to protect people. Now in her little booklet, which Chase was nice enough to actually read the whole thing while I was <laughs> opening her out of the box and was filling me in while I was opening the box as well, that she's really a good person. Like, I mean, yeah, she's a rebel in the sense that she doesn't want to be a damsel, she wants to be something more than that, but she's not a rebel in the sense that she's a bad person, you know, like she doesn't go out and do evil. She actually ends up helping an ogre who gets kicked out of school because she wants to get him back in school because he wants to be there. So I mean like little stuff like that makes her really stand out as a character and I'm really looking forward to it. I hope they make her more prevalent in some of the newer episodes. So I really like how they did add that little special influence in her outfit. It is hard plastic to make it look like armor, as well as the fabric of the inner dress here, like the silver skirt and the bodice piece, is actually really stiff, like I can't describe it, it feels almost like aluminum foil, but harder. Like I don't know if that's a good way to put it, I've felt that fabric before, they've used it on Barbies, um, it's a very stiff fabric, but it's awesome because it gives it that armor effect like she's the knight on the show, which is fantastic, I love how they're giving a really strong female, uh, character, you know, like a woman can be a knight, because she can be. 
and going to her shoes, which like every after uh, ever after high and monster hide all their shoes are all oh, I mean like I cannot tell you they need to make a shoe line. I will wear this. <laughs> and of course going with the silver motif, it's gonna be really strong looking and I like it because it looks like again, if she's a knight. And her purse and accessories go with it as well. She's got a purse here and she's got a uh, instead of a separate ring, it's like a bracelet ring, kind of like how Raven has it. Now one thing I did notice she doesn't have earrings. I don't know why. Because most of the other dolls, I mean not all of them. I gotta check, do all of them do? No, like Mirror Beach I don't think does, but a lot of the Ever After High dolls, eh, I can't even talk, Ever After High dolls do have earrings, so I thought that was kind of odd that she didn't. But she's so stunning and she has so much going on with her outfit and like this beautiful piece here has got all this glitter on there. She doesn't really need earrings, I just thought it was weird that she didn't. And of course she comes with a silver stand and a brush like they always do, which is awesome. So again, I love this doll. I love the character development on this. To me, she's one of the more, in my opinion, one of the more exciting characters is because she is a knight and come on, like girls can be knights. That's great. And I love how they're actually doing that with her. And like I said, she's stunning. Probably have to say face, face mold and hair stand out the most with me on this doll. Like her hair is just absolutely like, she looks like a princess. A fighting princess, but a princess. <laughs> Even though the colors, like I brought out my Cinderella doll because I had to like compare. It does remind me of Cinderella a little bit with the color styling, but not exactly. So really awesome. So what do you guys think? Are you guys really excited about and want to see more of Darling Charming? I do. I hope they make her more on the show. As always, make sure to check out our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And thanks for watching, guys. And make sure to join our circle by subscribing to watch me rant and rave and talk about all these dolls. <laughs> Bye.